Hi, welcome back to the Gapster channel. My name is Gabby and I'm really excited about this video because this is not about me. It is about Johnny from Denmark who built a balanced TD1 DAC. Yes, a balanced one. This is the first balanced version that I've seen out that's been built and he's actually very uh, happy with it. He sent me an email and I don't really know Johnny except for a couple emails we exchanged trying to troubleshoot a couple things and uh, he said that I've just finished the TD1 DAC and I think it sounds amazing. Uh, it's a balanced version, it has a huge sound stage both in widths and depths, especially the bass is very impressive with great rhythm. Instruments and vocals are crystal clear and crisp. This DAC really has Pratt, as he said, and it's better than my previous DACs, uh, Holo Audio May, Lumin X1 and others. It's actually so good that I've just ordered two more TD1 boards so that I can build another one for my headphone system as well. So these are some very impressive DACs. So the fact that uh, he's actually uh, surpassed those, that's a very good thing. I was actually pleased myself because I, frankly, I haven't done a lot of experiments with a balanced version yet, except for once. I still need more time and I've got just running around like crazy, get so many things. What I really like about uh, Johnny's uh, Gapster uh, Balanced TD1 DAC is that he actually did it really well and it's very professionally done. It, you can tell by the way everything is arranged. not easy to actually put things together like this, trying to plan sizes and, and um, where to put things so there be close and power supplies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what I like about it, it's all neatly tidied up and very, very well done. Let's also not forget that the big credit here goes to Ian Canada who designed all these boards. There's so many boards in there, uh, like the 54Q7, the reclocking system, all these UC Pures uh, to uh, actually the power supply that are running on ultra capacitors, the linear pies and all this. I'll put a list of all these parts in the description below for people who would like to understand a little bit why what's in there. And uh, of course, you can always ask uh, questions in the comments below. We can even maybe ask Johnny because he knows more about his deck. Maybe he'll even chime in and uh, we can try to maybe answer some of the questions if anybody has some. But like I said, again, the big actually credit goes to Ian Canada that's a, uh, that actually designed all these beautiful boards for us, the DIY community. The big thing I really like about it is how he didn't go overboard like doing like, you know, 20 different ultra capacitors. He's got two sets of uh, ultra capacitors. I, I believe these are plus five and minus five volt. And then he's got the linear pies with the little, uh, with the little UC conditioners on them on top. So uh, that's also really good. And for 15 volt, he used a smaller uh, version of the, uh, of the UC Pures to create some room and keep things so it doesn't get out of hand. I did a video about those for those that want to keep things small and not use a big ultra capacitor. You can find it on my channel. And uh, also uh, Johnny did a smart thing here by using uh, six uh, ultra capacitors that actually are on the same uh, line and the same alignment to save even more space for his application. That little uh, arrangements uh, worked out better. So you don't have to put the six uh, stacked three and three you can have them six all in the same alignment and save a space depends on which uh, space you need what I also like about uh, Johnny's system here is that if you notice the uh, high voltage uh, power supplies are all in a nice caged enclosure in a very safe way and check out those three fuses you remember I used to talk about safety layers here you can see that the safety layers are being applied those three fuses are crucial in case something happened also notice how everything is clean and tidy uh, all the wires nicely wrapped up uh, actually, Johnny mentioned that this, he's new to the DIY world he's built. Uh, judging from uh, this deck, I, I would say that he's very knowledgeable at least, and he knows what he's doing. 
He also mentioned that all the parts on the TD1 are actually the one from Mauser, the ultra capacitors he used are from DigiKey, and the TDA chips he got from eBay, but they are sold out now. The balancer board for the 15 volt uh, came from AliExpress. So the next two pictures are crucial to understanding uh, Johnny's system and how it's built. And we should really thank him for sharing all this information with us. Not too many people share and it's very important for the DIY community if we all share our experiences and our projects. Here we can see that there is uh, two linear pies, the two UC conditioners, so three UC pures, the two capster uh, TD1 DAX with their shields, the balancers for the ultra capacitors, some sort of a soft start. I'll have to ask Johnny about this one. This looks very interesting for me. There's uh, two SC pure clocks. He went all the way there. On the second uh, picture, we can see they are a little bit more assembled. We can see the FIFO Q7, all the transformers, 15 volt capacitors plus balancer, the so linear pi assembled with the UC conditioners on top. So those two pictures will really give you an idea what's inside uh, Johnny's DAC and uh, it actually really makes you understand what's going on and I really thank him for sharing all this information with us. Here you can see the early stages of preparation to building the DAC and the fact that he achieved a very good uh, sound even though he's not su uh, supplying those DACs with two completely separate power supplies that's really amazing and uh, what I also like about it is this is actually a fine example for others to look at it and see okay maybe I can do something like this or maybe I can do something similar and change a couple of things but it gives you ideas on what you can and what you cannot do and gives you ideas what others have done because this is like a complete example of this uh, Gapster TD1 DAC in balanced version. Now keep in mind that the balanced version is very dependent on the TD8 chips that you use. They need to be as similar as possible for this project to succeed. Also all your UFL cables need to be exactly the same length, that's an easy one. And uh, but actually the type of the like the having a matching TD8 chips is a little bit hard because even if it says the same uh, year, the same uh, months that they were produced, same week that was produced, it's still, that doesn't mean they're gonna be exactly identical. So you might have to experiment trying to get two chips that actually have good synergy between them. I'll put a link in the description below of the full uh, email that uh, Johnny sent me and that uh, because there's, he talks a little bit about some other details that you might want to be uh, that you might want to actually read if you are building a gapster td1 DAC and you'd like to share it with us on the channel or even if you're building anything that's diy related uh, please send me an email and uh, a couple of descriptions and a few pictures and uh, we can go from there on this side i'm gonna put actually where is the uh, uh, Gapster TD1 DAC and just for people who have no idea what I'm talking about. I'll be a speaker in the middle if you feel like subscribing to the channel and I hope to see you again in another video. Take care.